very exciting news this morning. I got my um, Palouse Brands wheat berries. I have a hard red, a hard white, and a soft white berry, and I'm going to grind, um, I think I'm going to grind the hard white and the soft white today to make an Irish brown soda bread that is my cousin's recipe that has been pleasing the family for the last 20 years or so. And uh, it does call for brown flour and white flour. So I'm going to use my, my grain mill attachment to my uh, Electrolux assistant. And as you'll see here, there's this um, little drive. It, it, it drives from the center. It doesn't have the mixers that come down from the front like the, um, like the KitchenAids do. And this is the grain mill. And what this is, is this goes into that little pin. And then, then we tip it over on the side, and away we go. So here we go. If you start it, let me look. You start it. I probably have to. No, that's loose. I think I have to. Uh, let me loosen this up a little bit. What is it? Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Right, I need both hands. I'm just going to put this down for a second. Okay, I figured it out. This machine, it, it's really well made. It's not very popular in the United States, which is why I'm going to try and make as many videos as I can of me using it. What you'll notice is here, it has this little, if you can see there, it has a little um, like slot. And on the inside of this, you can see it also has that little, that little slot. So I was actually trying to put this in the wrong way. So what I'm going to do is put this in, flip it around, and put it right in like that and look at that. So beautiful. Now I'm just going to tighten this up if I'm tightening it the right way. Am I? Let's see. Okay, I'm just gonna put this down again while I tighten this up. Okay, it's all tightened and what I'm gonna do now is another nice uh, feature of this is that this is the way it works with the mixer it's up like this and you put the bowl down on top but it has this little soft piece here and what you do is you turn the whole thing over onto its side and now um, this is where you would use your meat grinder, your pasta maker, all the other attachments um, so this way uh, the grains are going to come right down into a bowl so let me get my scale and I'm going to weigh out my grains okay we're back I have my my bowl under my grinder and I'll just show you it gives you a guide here uh, here with let me turn this other light on that may help so this is the more fine settings you go this way this is the more coarse settings so if you want to make like cracked wheat cracked white rye you can do that here I've heard that you can make uh, like steel cut oatmeal out of the groats if you go on to this setting and this is more for our flour so you can see here as I turn it this way there's little numbers and I'm going to go, I'm assuming I just keep going and going and going until I get to where I can't go anymore. Is that what happened? Yeah, I believe, I believe we are there. Let me just go back to where I can see the line. Oh, I guess that's that's a line too. So let me go right back to that. Oh yeah, sure enough, I can't go any further than that. So we're going to leave it there. Okay, now over here, this is the flour. I'll flip it over. It's Palouse brand. I'm going to put a link on my Yahoo. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put a link on, on the YouTube uh, description where you can find out, uh, get a link to order it. This is the Palouse brand of wheat that I ordered from Amazon and I will put a link if you want to get it too. I got a three pack as I mentioned before. There's soft wheat, soft white wheat, there's hard white wheat, and there's hard red wheat. And the red wheat um, has the highest protein and then the white wheat is kind of in the middle and then the soft white is what you would use for your cakes and pastries and things like that. And I believe it even tell. look at this, it even tells you who packaged your thing? Alyssa M, who I believe also answered my email when I emailed these guys. And here's the website, palousebrand.com. You can tell them that Doreen sent you. So I'm going to weigh out my flour. Um, in my own notes, I have that flour is uh, 120 grams when I'm just weighing the flour. 
but I've been reading that when you're grinding you should use 128 grams of berries to equal one cup of flour and again it's going to go by weight not volume because it's going to be very fluffy when it comes out of the machine um, so one cup might not really equal one cup uh, that you would get out of your bag of flour so let's get weighing okay so I got the bags open and what I did is they come in these plastic bags so I put my own little twist ties on them and with some masking tape I just labeled each bag so I know what it is and here are my grains um, what I did was I did 128 times two and a half for the soft white because it needs two and a half cups of uh, just regular white flour and one and a half cups of hard white so that was 192 grams of hard white and 320 grams of soft white uh, and now we're going to get ready to grind Okay, so I realized that I had um, uh, weighed the flour into the bowl that I had under the grinder. So what I've done, I've just transferred it into a different bowl and we're going to get going. So this has a timer that as you can see can go up to 12 minutes and it has increments of 8 minutes, 4 minutes on the, on the side there. So it says to if you're going to go to medium speed, you're going to be at 3 o'clock. So that's good. We're just going to move this to here. I'm going to fill it up a little bit. Let's see if I can step back so everybody can see. Let me see if I can pull this back a little bit. Now, that's as far back as it goes. All right. So basically, I'm just putting the, putting the grain in here. It has a hopper. In fact, I wonder if I can't just pour all the grain in. Although I think that I'm going to need both hands. Oh, maybe not. We'll go slow. That humming, if you hear that humming in the background, that's just my oven, which I have started up. Okay. So actually I could have done that actually with this with this bowl. I could have just poured it in, nothing spills out, and then just put the bowl underneath. So we'll know for next time. All right, so let's get this going. I'm just gonna turn this to on. And then slowly, slowly turn this to, kind of mix it up a little bit. Slowly turn this to medium. As you'll see it really it made some dust a little bit on the machine um, but uh, all in all not too bad not too bad and this is this is my flour and I'm going to tip the machine over and I'm actually going to use the mixer bowl to mix this normally I would mix it by hand but since uh, I'm not, I want to use the end scarum I want to see how it does compared to how I would do it by hand so be right back okay so as you can see the assistant is back right side up or for right side up for our needs. It was right side up the other way when we were milling flowers, right? So again, this has, um, this has this piece that goes into the pin and you twist it and now the bowl goes right on top of that. And you can see it fits because it won't go anymore. Now we take, I'll show you. This goes here and this one, um, you want this other, there's like a short side and a long side. You want the long side facing out because, and then we put one cookie, right? That goes right on there. Like that. It's hard to do this with one hand. And then the other one goes on the other side. Right? Like that. Push it down. And then this go, this little gear goes on top of this one. And as you see, as the bowl turns, or actually, 
because the shaft is coming through this one, the beaters are going to turn this time and the bowl is going to stay still. So let me load up and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've just realized that I had a half a cup of in my mind and I did, uh, I was so excited about using my new lard uh, that I did, instead of doing um, a stick of butter, I decided to do a half stick of butter and half lard. And then when I looked at the recipe again, I realized that it's actually a half a cup of sugar that you need to add to this, but I'm going to add the lard, uh, I'm going to add the fat anyway and see see what happens. This bread has no eggs, it's really just flour, some leavening in this form of one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and four teaspoons of baking powder. Um, so I've just added that and the sugar and I'm just going to again have this on the lowest speed, the 12 o'clock position. I'm going to turn it just to on and you'll see it's just going to stir that up. It's going to mix in um, it's going to mix in the, the leavening and the sugar and, and the soft and hard flour. We'll just give that a second. And I'm going to come back um, when I add the, the liquids.